Hey guys, it's Jana and welcome back to a new video. Today I have for you Absan Midrange for Historic. Now if you're tired of playing against cat decks on the ladder, whether it's Gen Food or Gen Sacrifice, this is probably the deck for you. I don't know how this deck could ever beat Jun. I'll show you why. You have Kaya Orzov Usurper. <laughs> I don't know if it's Usurper or Usurper, but anyways, it's Kaya. Three mana Kaya. <laughs> Negative one exile target non land permanent with converted mana cost one or less. So that's gets rid of a cat. You have Oath of Kaya lines up with a lot of um, creatures in that deck as well as other creature decks. It deals three damage to any target and you gain three life and the life is really relevant especially in Historic when you're, where you're losing a lot of that. Knight of Autumn gets rid of target artifacts or enchantments. You have Binding the Old Gods that destroys target non-land permanent and opponent controls and ramps. And Yasharn, Implaceable Earth. Sacrifice decks hate this card. <laughs> Um, yes, it, with this card, players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activate abilities. So very, very good against um, sacrifice decks. In the sideboard, you have two authority of the consoles. That's for aggro, an aggro card. Aggro players hate this card. Four legions, and I, I don't think that this card is particularly good in historic just because there are just a lot of hmm, I, I want to say that well it's bad against the deck that you're targeting which is Jun Sacrifice because um, we have oven to sort of get around the part where you exile target creature with the same name as that creature from your hand but I was thinking right when I was talking that this is probably really good against Gruul decks or maybe even um, Ors of Auras where you could use Legion's End to target something like a Core Spirit Dancer or a SRAM and that gets rid of it and lines up very very well against that deck. One Necromantia, this is for um, Blue White Control. This is to get Mana 5 to Fairy out of the hand. Um, or the library, or wherever. <laughs> um, this deck really struggles against blue-white, but as you can see in the gameplay, I do go up against a blue-white deck, so stay tuned for that gameplay if you want to show how this deck lines up with blue-white control. Yehenny's Expertise is your sweeper, um, in tandem with Extinction Event. You have three Shifting Ceratops. Now, like I said, this deck is horrible against <laughs> the fairy decks, but Shifting Ceratops makes it so, say they're on the play and they play Teferi on 5, you play your Shifting Ceratops on 5 and it's uncounterable. The format doesn't really play a lot of Aether Gust right now since Soul Tie with Uro has been pushed out. This definitely kills, shift or er, the Shifting Ceratops definitely kills the Teferi deck as soon, or the Teferi card as soon as it's played. Two again, the Spear Dragons, a sweeper against all creature decks. This is a deck, um, it was really, really fun to play. Unfortunately, I don't think I went up a single cat deck, but it's really interesting. You'll see in the video uh, how it fares against decks that aren't cat decks, since like I said, this deck is heavily targeting those decks. Anyways, I'll send you guys off to the gameplay and see you guys at the end of the video for post deck analysis. Please enjoy the video. Oh my god, a crappy hand, but we're gonna keep. I hope they ban Yorion everywhere. What, you don't like it? I think it's fine, actually. I think Yorion's actually perfect for standard control. Now, I, I, I say that because it's just like, okay, what would you rather have? Yorion or three mana to fairy? I feel like the Yorion decks are very, very fair on control because you're not holding up a lot of mana. Oh no! Right when we said it, we were actually going up against freaking blue white. God oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, we got a thought tease. Anyways, yeah, I feel like, like I said, it's very, very hard. So we're just gonna go in on this. I could cycle here, but. Oh, 
So I think we're gonna have time to cycle, actually. Yeah, so 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 uh Yorian's good for control shells because there's it's a lot more tapping out involved. Whereas control decks like blue white before with Teferi that had counter spells like this were a little problematic in my eyes, um, due to the fact that uh it was just hard it, it's just hard because they're always gonna leave mana up, so I feel like this is way better on control. Like, um, it's more fair. Well, not like fair, fair, you know what I mean. You know what I freaking mean, okay. Like, it, it sucks because they go over the top, but I'm just saying that, like, it's so much better than the Teferi garbage. You know? You just don't want to play 80 card decks? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's kind of alright. I getcha, I getcha. That's pretty rough. You're right, it's pretty annoying. There are too many good cards. <laughs> okay, so we have one person, no 80 card decks. Second person's like, yeah, I, I want the 80 card decks. Thank you so much um, for the sub there. Thank you guys. We have a lot of subs today and I'm really, really grateful for that. Thank you. Draw, go, control feels a lot worse. Exactly. Love your insight. Yeah, I mean, I like magic. <laughs> I know sometimes it's really tiring because there's people who don't like magic but still play and they... It's like, I, I'm so sad because I'm just, One thing is that I'm also very new to the game. I've only started playing the game during War of the Spark. So I actually, like, imagine my first... Okay, so imagine, look at it from my point of view. My first experience <laughs> with the game was literally, okay, Teferi and Nyssa and stuff like that, and somehow I'm still playing. I actually really liked War of the Spark, and I actually got to open, um, thanks to my good friend who sent me um, the Japanese War of the Spark. That was really, really, really cool. Um, okay, so I could do this. They could have absorb, but I think I'm just literally just gonna go ahead and try to guess this Orion. Like I don't have another play. Oh sweet. Yeah, so imagine me. You know, I'm literally new to the game, and I still ended up playing Magic. So I feel that to me, it's not that bad. But also, like me, I, I like it because me being introduced to that sort of power level gave me a different appreciation for the game. Two, a lot of people. Okay, so I guess they might just cast out my Orion. Since since the power level I started is really high, I really appreciate standard now. Like I also didn't think that Throne of Eldrain was bad, which people could be like, oh, like it was really fucking bad. <laughs> Like, I get it. Like, it was bad, but also, I don't know. Like I said, um, I- War of the Spark was also kind of hard on a new player. Okay, so I'm gonna take out Teferi. We don't want that. So we could do- we- we have to save up these Night of Autumns. But they have settled the wreckage. I think I'm just gonna do this then. Because if they hard cast that Shark Typhoon, I want to be able to Knight of Autumn it, obviously. Wow, the mana base is really good. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap out. Oh, right! Did they, they did they take do a trailer for Strixhaven? Did we get scammed, guys? I've not seen a, tra uh, a trailer for it. Did they actually scam us? Like, I literally haven't seen a trailer for it. That's so, that's so lame. Some people are negative and don't know how to get out. It's part of their identity. Yeah, it's because that Magic the Gathering, it's a lifestyle game. So I think that people are more, are definitely a lot more, I, I don't want to say harsh on the game, but like they, I mean, if you're, if you're so tied to the game, right, it's easy to get a little bit disappointed in the way things are. Okay, I don't know. We could just draw here. 
Oh, there is a trailer. Has helped me come out of retirement. Jabba, I like. I love saying when I love people when they call me Jabba. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> it's like a little typo, but I like it. it. It's actually not that bad. And right now, I feel like to um. Obviously, there's gonna be times where um constructed can be really rough because it's not your style, right? It's just not your style of play. And that is really annoying, but I found that sometimes... Okay, I can actually toss these lands, right? I'll discard just one. Um, I found that sometimes when the meta is just like my style, I really, really enjoy standard. It's always gonna rotate. Oh god, they did Wrath of God? Yikes. I might just be able to beat them with this Maze Mind Tome then. But actually, I feel like they've done a really, really good job with Limited. One thing that's kind of annoying that I can see people get really frustrated with is that um, things get solved really, really fast in Standard. So if you aren't playing this... And, um, um, what is it? Brews are really, really hard to create with uh, magic right now just because people are just solving things at an incredible rate. Um, pros are playing tournaments all the time, so you're always going to have up-to-date decks. So if you're the type of person where it's just like, okay, you would really enjoy brewing, Constructed is going to be so hard for you and Limited as well because people have min-maxed and created the best archetypes even for Limited way before the set even comes out. So I can see how it can get really frustrating for people that have played sort of like the older way of magic. It can be quite annoying, I agree, but at the same time I feel like there's just so many different formats that you can play. Like they did an arena opened in sealed, and even for me as a constructed player I thought I, I was super super annoyed by it just because sealed is just not my type. But um, people enjoyed it. It was something new to play. So I feel like uh, Magic's always just trying to come up with new things to, or like Watsy, to keep people from like going crazy. I feel like they've done a really, really good job with that. So I definitely recommend it for, for new players and people who are coming back into the game. I mean, they're already doing like a, a really good job. Um, they're adding newer cards to Historic from older formats. So I feel like they they're adding brain, brain what is it i don't want to say brainwave cringe <laughs> cringe brainwave is it brainwave brainstorm <laughs> fake gamer i'm a fake gamer i'm a fake gamer <laughs> yeah brainstorm so i feel like it's fine okay so now i have two maze mind tomes Yes, brain brainstorm, brainstorm, not not brainwave. <laughs> Alright. So it's fine. Okay, let's Oh my goodness. How am I gonna close out this game, I wonder? I guess I could just draw cards and see what happens. I mean, it just sucks. I can actually... Oh, man, but I'm... I'm literally... Okay. So I have Mithros of Nethroi. I will need to... Discard. I think I'm just going to do Baffling and... Figure more like Jund Queen. I want to play Jund, but I wanted to play this deck. Unfortunately, we're going up literally against our worst matchup. It's a fairy hero of time. Okay. Good thing I can just destroy that. Saw it coming. Okay. So they have four mana up. I'm gonna do this first then, see if they have another counter. They don't. Pretty good for me. I'll have a better plan next time. Um, what do I wanna do? I probably wanna attack first. What's in here? 
They have, ooh, I have Yorion. Okay, so what I wanna do is that I actually wanna get Yorion back. Oh, so they can, ca they can actually cast out my ECD. But I can Knight of Autumn it. We're actually in a really, really good spot. More than I thought I'd be. So let's do the Kaya. Yeah, we're actually in a really decent spot. Yeah, we're super sweet. Let's get the Planeswalkers out. You're not welcome here. What is it? Creature card. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap out. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't play, I don't play a lot of standard right now. So I'm gonna wait because I actually want these to reset. So people are saying, guys, uh, people are saying that um, there might be a, uh, like an is it deck in standard, How or like in historic, what do you guys think now with Brainstorm? People are, were also saying that Brainstorm might not actually be that good because, oh, that's pretty good on us, because the fact that uh, there's not a lot of fetch lands in the format, what do you guys think? There might not actually be any good fetch lands. So it might not be... Ooh, that's pretty bad. Oh, actually, that's not even problematic. I can actually just exile the Graftigger's Cage. And the next best cantrip... Oh, yeah, but the thing is, is that it's stronger in older formats because you can shape the hand better with a fetch land, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It'll be good, but harder to make good. Okay. Weird. No, basic lands. Guess we'll just play out the angels. Really good spot. So like they can, oh, they're actually drawing a card here. Okay, so I mean they have cast out, they'll likely cast out my Elspeth's Nightmare, right? Or sorry, my, my ECD, but we're in a, like, like I said, we're in a really good spot right now. They would need another Wrath effect. So like that saw it coming. Oh, they fucked up? Oh, what? I mean, I feel like they kind of made a mistake there. I mean, they're dead, right? Oh, they look cast at the creature. I see. I see. Oh my gosh, we've just drawn so many cards. This is ridiculous, guys. I don't really know what to tell them. Oh my goodness. I think we're winning. Like, I don't think that there's... It's gonna be very hard to lose this game. Sure. Okay, perfect for me. 
Okay. We literally won game one of our worst matchup. So I'm guessing we need Necromentia shifting <laughs> Ceratops. <laughs> shifting Ceratops. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. I don't know why that made that, that's so funny to me. <laughs> like this. <laughs> Come on, it's so it's so bad. Like <laughs> ah, this used to be so good, but it's really really bad. <laughs> really bad. Um okay, so what do we need for? <laughs> oh man, I right, I guess we take out baffling and That's it, right? I mean, we might need it for sharks. What about Kaya? We can remove shark. We can remove sharks. Oh, we don't even like extinction event. Maybe we do need baffling end. Oh man, maybe we need Ugin. <laughs> this is not. This is not great, guys. This is not great. Like we cut a but. Like is it just like this? Yeah, no shifting is great, but the thing is, is that like uh, you, I'm just saying it used to be better because it's really it's a lot worse in historic now because of cast out. So even though it's uncounterable and um, they can surely, uh, it can't be countered. They can either gust it. Usually blue white doesn't have either gust anymore. Uh, maybe it actually does because of Jund. But there's so much more ways to deal with this card that I feel like it's it's not as good as before. Yeah, bring in the dino for for real, for real. Yeah, let's see, let's see uh, what we can do. See what we can do. See if we can uh, play this. But I remember this was a really, really good standard card back in the day because there was, it was just really hard for blue decks to. Um, remember, there was like a mono blue tempo deck. Oh, do you guys remember that actually? The mono blue tempo deck. That was super funny. <laughs> that was really funny. Because, like, uh, the mono... As soon as you resolve this, like, you just won against mono blue. Like, literally. <laughs> oh, man. Those were good times. Were they, though? Were they good times? Who knows? Like, maybe they're not good times. I really want to resolve this... I might, I might just do this, because if they have a, a counter here, I'd rather get this countered. Oh, what? We played the hell out of the deck? What are your thoughts on Inquisition and Doomblade? Are they gonna add that? Okay, for, first of all, I need to know what Inquisition does. Target player reveals their hand. Inquisition deals damage to the player equal to the number of white cards in their hand. What? That's so strange. They really had that? Weird. So here, I don't want to slam the sh Shifting Ceratops because if they play Teferi next turn, I want to be able to attack it. So right now, I'm going to... First, I'll uptick. I think I'm just going to take it easy, play the Yasharn. That's so weird. What a weird card. I don't know if that's going to be good. But Doomblade, Doomblade though, might be really sweet. Yeah, it says destroy target non-black creature. Oh, is it? Well, okay, it's going to be for historic. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty strong. It's a two mana removal. With no downside. It's not like Heartless Act. It's really good removal, I think. My brain? That's... <laughs> I mean, uh, like I said, I played against Teferi 5 when it was a card. So I know to save my Shooting Ceratops so I can actually attack into it. Okay, I'm going to be doing a lot of damage here right now. Yeah, alright. Time to get screwed. You know what? I could have also done Oath of Kaya into Maze Mind Tome, but I think I'd rather do this haste. Okay. 
But now they have counters though. But now I'm not going to be able to resolve the Maze Mine Tome. But they could have countered the Tome. Or the Oath. So I think that, that might have actually been fine. So now I guess they're going to need a board, board wipe. Okay, so how much cards in exile? Are these- these are not in exile, right? These are in the foretell zone. Oh god, they had Doomscar. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I have another Shifting Ceratops, but I want to um, actually just beat them in advantage here. Okay, so I can... Now, I don't want to play at the Shifting Ceratops. This is literally a card just to kill Teferi. Um, I can just... I think I'm just going to draw, see if I can get a Thoughtseize. I didn't. Okay. And I have a lot of answers for Teferi, so it's not even that bad. So now this is doing... Yeah, this is not in... This is in Foretell, not Exile. Oh crap. Well, that's actually really good for us. So, like, they have saw it coming here. We're gonna have to be able to flush it out. But we're still not in a bad spot. So, how many cards? One, two, three, four, five? Or just three? I can't tell. I mean, we can just cash out here, right? Feel the pain of every outcast thing. I think I'm gonna just oath here. I don't know why this deck is working. Like, what? <laughs> why is this deck working? It's so strange. I hate it here. So I guess they can cycle a shark for one. But then if they're gonna if they're gonna attack Kaya, that's three damage. So I dare you. Kaya's doing work with herself. So they can cast out the shifting ceratops. Um, so they're likely going to counter this. We're just gonna haste it. Doesn't look like they have any answers to it. Unless settle maybe? No, no settle, huh? Okay, so then it's just a bunch of saw it comings. I think I'm winning this game, honestly. I don't know how they can- I mean, they can to fairy, but they can't bounce the shifting ceratops and have pro. Like, and if they cast to fairy here, they would literally have to get rid of the shifting ceratops or else I'm gonna have a window to just cast a Siorion to win. So they need to deal- they can't attack into Kai anymore, they lose. Yeah, jeez. Okay, yeah, we big brained them. We big brained the the blue eyed opponent. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. All right, let's see if we can play one more. Are there any other day? Oh, I know Andrew Cunio had a really, really uh, good. No, yeah, yeah, he had Dimir control. Got a Maya. Oh, there's a Golgari mid range deck too. Oh, I want to. I want to try that. Okay, what are we doing here? This is. I'm gonna keep it, but it's not great. Okay, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of great, great new decks. Was sweet. Yeah, they went to a seven zero with it. Jeez. Flourishing fox. Oh no. I'm gonna have to get that out of the way. Okay, I need land, or else I'm very, very screwed here. Arn, Hutch, and Beth. They're, uh, they're from Germany, right? Wow. What? Okay, I did get the, the land. Oh my goodness. 
This is really bad. MTG. Antonio Del Moral. Oh yeah, they went against me. I I've played them before, right? Or something like that. Austin Bursavich, uh, 6-1 on Orzov Auras. Why why did Auras do well today? Or yeah, why did Auras went do well today? Did they change something? Like, did they change something about Oh god, this is not great. Come on, please land. Ah, oh, thank god. Alright, we are going to want to this is an artifact. Awkward. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat cycling. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat cycling. Oh no. Horrible. Horrible. Oh shit, guys. Shit. How many cards in grief? Quite a lot. Quite a lot. I can do this. So freaking bad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I can block actually, but I mean they just might have all cyclers. Maybe I needed to. Fuck. <laughs> so bad. I'm it's it's cause I'm trying to gain the life here. No, they just had the Xenoflare, so I actually had a block. Alright, you got it. Damn. Okay, so how do I do this? Okay, so I need I don't know if Necromantia is good. Maybe authority? I don't know. I don't think this is a good... <laughs> I don't... Let's just say I don't think this is a good deck for... us. Oh gosh, it's horrible. It's horrible. It's actually so bad. <laughs> oh man, they got us, guys. They got us. I don't know. <laughs> they literally got us. Oh goodness. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to <laughs> It really do be like that sometimes, I think. I think cut your charms. Okay, we can- that Kai is actually gonna do us very great here. Uh, I don't know if we want to do that. Oh boy. Okay, I think Thoughtseize might be very bad, right? Oh, who knows. Who freaking knows? I'll oh, do the one again. I don't care. <sighs> I was gonna compliment your makeup, and then I didn't block the fox. All right, no compliment for me then. The dino, <gasps> no compliment for me. Yeah, maybe if I can get Kaya in. You guys seen any new shows lately? So that Dota 2, I really like the video game Dota 2. Um, and they have an anime out on Netflix and all the episodes are out. So I think I'm gonna watch that after stream today, but um, yeah, that seems like it's gonna be sweet. All the episodes are out. I didn't hear much about it, so it might not be good, but... Uh, I also have to watch Captain America. Apparently there's already two episodes out. I still haven't heard much about Captain America though. Even though, um, remember um, WandaVision was out? WandaVision was out and then I st and then a lot of people were talking about it and I didn't think it was the same. To be honest. You've been watching March Madness. <laughs> Um, I think I could probably just play Baffling in on, on it. 
So next turn we can Legion's End plus tap. You watched it tonight? Okay, that's pretty good. That's good. Hopefully we can get Kaya. Okay, looks like they're missing land. I want to use this on like something else. We could have also maybe looked at their hand, but I mean if they have Fox then I'll use it. Okay, looks like they're really missing land. Yeah, I didn't see that it was much of an impact compared to the other. Mm, they're not really pressuring much, me much, so I feel like I can actually just draw here. Or do I just want Yorion to hand? Or draw? Well, next turn, what can I do? I can put Yorion to hand plus a two mana spell, so I think I can just draw. Oh, sweet. Next turn, we could do Kaya plus draw. Kaya plus... Yeah, this is going to be really good. Oh, how do I get the deck list? Oh, no! Did I not have Cardboard Live this whole time? That's probably what was missing. I thought I... thought I... Flavor text on the Strixhaven cards? Giant Tome. Oh, I haven't seen it. I want to do a set review. I want to do a set review, so um, I, I want to save myself, you know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, what, what is this? Oh god, that's horrible. So if I do this, it'll just die. So let's do Legion's End. See if we can catch a case. Holy crap, they have so many Zenith Flares. That's ridiculous. Fortunately, okay, so we can Mithros of Nethroi, the Hollow One. What's my favorite? That explains why I haven't seen this. Oh, it was too- yeah, yeah, I have to see it. I have to see it. I think I'm just gonna delete that, right? Okay. Alright, this is gonna be very good for us. Just gonna put this. Oh no! Okay, no, no, I do have white. I do have white. Shoot, I have too many green. I'll have to see it. I can't wait. It's super soon. It's super soon, guys. Remember on the thirtieth, I have a I have a preview card. Actually, I have a burger here, but it's very cold. I think I'm gonna eat it. Still, because I'm getting hungry. Flourishing fox. Oh no, no tissue paper. I'll have to eat. Oh gosh, I don't like. I don't like touching things with my hands, guys. So now they can, they can, um, I mean that's not to face, so I'm actually very chill with that. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god, cringe. I literally meant to blink the Yorion in. Oh my goodness. Well, let's... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, yikers. Let's just say yikes. Let's just say yikes. I meant to blink it back in with the Yorion. So I could get more card advantage, but obviously that didn't happen. I mean, I guess I could do it here. Oh, okay. I could wait, actually. I could wait. Now I'm in a good spot. Because now I can blink in and gain six. Very, very bad. You blame the burger? I know. Preview burger. I'm a little annoyed that there are so many promo cards being printed since it kind of ruined the altars market. Oh, is that the, 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 the case, Fortron? I feel like people still really like the altars, though. I feel like people still support the altars, nonetheless, because people really like different cards, but 
Maybe. <laughs> Change it to tarnation. Okay, that's really funny. That's really funny. That's really funny. I like that. <laughs> tarnation. <laughs> Reptilian reflection, huh? Okay. Oh, again, I forgot to... Well, this already entered. Kind of already entered. So pretty crappy for me. Me just trying to find a way to win. This is cringe. Oh, I didn't need to shock that. Unlucky. All right, yikes. Oh boy, how do I win again? Ugh. Let's just say... Oh, I should have maybe scryed first. Probably better than a random card. So does that mean they have another Zenith Flare? I would hate that. Oh, please don't have another Zenith Flare. I'll be so sad. I'm gonna draw. Please don't have another Zenith Flare. I'll be very, very upset. Please don't! <laughs> please don't! Please don't. No, you have so many in there. Oh, I keep messing up with this maze mine tome. At this point, I might actually just need the life gain off that, though. See what happens. Oh, second reptilian reflection? Oh no. Well, what do we do? Let's draw? See what happens? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See if we can get something. Knight of Autumn? Nice. We can now get rid of that. Oh my gosh, these Knight of uh, Autumns come really good then. Right? Not bad. Let's cycle, see what if, what we can get. Okay. More lands, yikes. Have we stabilized though? I don't know. Okay, weird. This is a very, very weird game. Okay, so they have three flares. They have three flares. So they're just trying to find their last one, I guess. And we could block, you know? We could still block. Unfortunately, they're at tw Okay, they're, they're still at 12. Oh my gosh, it has trample. I didn't notice that. So, eight, nine, ten. So they can't. All right. Oh, we were off by one. Okay, well, we're really close. If they just don't get the other flare here, we're pretty good. If 
I actually don't think I even need a block, right? Okay, I don't know. Might as well be safe. Like, if they want to trade, we have them for lethal. Like, do they just have the other flare? Maybe a fry? How do they win now? How do they win? That was the last flare. That was the last flare. Oh. Do they have another way to win? Like, how do they win from here? Creatures? Yeah, don't jinx it. Should I build not build my time walk? Okay, you can make build any EDH deck. I actually have to uh, uh, play EDH soon. If someone is cheating. Oh, who's cheating? You can't win until the rigor is dead. <laughs> oh man, I miss so much about EDH. I still haven't played a single EDH game in my life. Yeah, I don't know how, how they're gonna win now. Like, they've... They've used all their Zenith Flares. Weird. Are they just gonna draw themselves out? They don't even care anymore. Yeah, EDH is, seems super fun, especially if you're playing with your friends. <laughs> I feel like I, I, I would need to, like, get super silly with it, though. Because, like... As a competitive player, like, I feel like I would just focus on, like, board states and stuff. Oh my gosh. I mean, I got Necromentia, but, like, we don't really... What's our other win con? Never played one? Jenna, after watching... I know! <laughs> what is this? What? What? Oh, I guess they did have just a cast out. Oh, weird. I don't know how they're gonna win. Do they just have another win con or something like that? Or are they just trolling me? I'm so confused. Hollow one. I feel like they're just trolling me. Oh, that didn't even work. Oh my gosh, cringe. Uh, what would they... Uh, what, what is this? How would they kill me? They, I swear to god that they've used all their zenith flares. Is there sh something I should necromancy out of their deck? Do they have another cast out? Three. Yeah, that's a big whoopsies. Oh, I don't know. from their hand. Okay, so they don't have much. Oh, cringe. Pretty cringe. Pretty cringy. Pretty 
pretty cringy. Well, I mean, this is giving me the life. That's good. Well, maybe I just need to get a Yori on. Sweet. No attacks. I think we're good. Okay, so what did we learn there? <laughs> what did we learn? <laughs> Done. Um, just like be very like maybe sugar hyper or something like that to play EDH because like I would start looking at board states and stuff like that. I don't want that. I think we're just gonna start off with uh, authority. Turn one authority. Yeah, I, I'm a try hard. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. We learn to be aware of counters. Exactly. Exactly. Pika. Exactly. Okay, speaking of... Turn one fox, Monka! Monka, fox. Alright. Ow! Alright, hopefully they have more of this. Let's just see what's in their hand, though. Okay, that's very good for us. Another fox! just get rid of it. I don't know. I feel like I'm making my opponent very sad right now. Yeah, it's not gonna get out of range, even if they had one more cycle here. So that must have been a land. Or a creature. This authority is doing work, guys. The authority of console is doing work. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're drawing lands. <laughs> we're drawing lands! No! Okay, I don't, probably don't have time to cycle this. We are drawing lands. Horrible. So they can't- can they cycle it? Okay, so they can. Oh, he's just gonna block. The healer. Okay, they're going wide on us. Sweet. Alright, we're kind of doing good. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty weird, but we're doing fine. I might actually keep this knight around. Because they don't really have many cycling cards. Why didn't they attack with a fox? Oh, hollow one. Alright, literally watch out. Watch freaking out, opponent. Watch out! Okay, Yorion decks continue to press every meta. Uh, I don't want really want to attack. Continue to press the meta. They've had it. They freaking had it with me. All right, now we can binding. Okay, you know what's sad is that we don't really need to do anything here. <laughs> we don't really need to do anything right here. We're all good, weirdly enough. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> Weird champ. Oh, nice! Very nice. Okay, so how many cards in here? Well, I'm more just gonna cast this. They might use it on here, actually.
Like, are you just gonna use it on the Kaya? Funny, that's what I do. Okay. Nice. That's we blinked in like a million mana of things. So I want to put the counters on. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I feel s I don't really feel bad. Not gonna lie. This is for my my people in chat that are like I hate cycling. So this is for you. <laughs> we fight fire. We fight being annoying with me. And I used to play a lot of cycling in standard, and now I don't know. I just found it so funny. It's like nice, sweet, pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad, Ugin. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet! Alright, I got nothing. Alright, playing fair with fair. We're top decking. We're both top decking. Huh. Anyways, how does mythic ranking- does it go from 90- it goes from 99% to a number. So if you are top 1200 every season you get invite an invite to the mythic invitational or mythic invitational qualifier the miq and you can play yes we beat them do i get into the numbers or am i 99 percent <gasps> see 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 so we got into the numbers we've we went from 98 to 1498 and if you are top, oh, is it actually 1500 or 1200? You get invited to special tournaments. And just bragging. All right, I literally stole 2% from y Yagi. Hey guys, welcome back to post deck analysis. I love a good Yorion deck, so I will always be enjoying decks like this. Let me know in the comments what you think about the deck and if you'll be playing it since, uh, Cat decks are just really, really strong right now. Let me know what your experience with this deck is. If you want to watch me live on stream, I stream almost every day at 7 p.m. PST on twitch.tv slash Janet Amari. I'll see you guys in the next video.